Hi friends, welcome back to ARC Tutorials. This is MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. In this particular episode, we will learn how to create indexes. Why are indexes created at first place? That's to improve the speed of retrieval of data when you have large uh, chunks of documents in a collections. To increase or rather index is nothing but think of it this way that if you want to retrieve faster, right? And you want to find off index or optimize that particular data, you'll put indexes. We'll learn all about it in today's episode. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. This is part 19 of MongoDB full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. There are 21 uh, tutorials that I have planned. We are now currently on 19th um, episode. Uh, so we are coming closer to the completion of this particular series excited about that But at the same time, please make sure you go through all the previous episodes in order to learn and master MongoDB All right, so what is what why you need indexes at first place? So indexes are the fastest way to find information Okay, so like, think of it this way that if I give you a big large fat book right of 800 pages now if I ask you to find certain topic in or for find certain chapter, where is it? You don't want to go page by page, right? Instead, what you would do is open the index, right? Which has all the um, uh, chapters listed down with the chapter number and broken down into the topics sections, right? That's because it helps you find the data easier because you will then apply kind of sorting internally or a search, binary tree search or something like that and break it down and find the information that you want faster. That's exactly what even databases do. And with respect to MongoDBs or MySQL or PGSQL or any SQL that you have, would have worked out, the index concept is the same, right? So you will put unique index, foreign uh, primary key, right? So they have indexes. Those are all indexes, which helps us get, get and retrieve data faster. Now, remember MongoDB, we talked about adding a key called underscore ID, right? If you remember, that's a unique key, right? And that's a primary key also, right, in a sense. So an index is always created with a column on I, I underscore ID, right? Though you may not know it, but if you see, if you see your documents uh, schema, you would see in the in this, there is something called index, right? So every, every collection that you create will have a index whenever you insert anything. Right? So even if it has no documents, there is a index that is said that it will be indexed. That is underscore ID. Right. So if you see any collection, it will have underscore ID as a key index. But we can also add custom ones, right? Like how I have added it here. I can delete this also. So how do we add that? So we need to run a command and we say db dot leads dot ensure index and followed by index key name. So let's see that. So db dot leads dot ensure index, right? And then followed by the uh, name of the uh, column or name of the key basically, right? Okay, this is a error because everything will, it's a JSON, right? So it has to be. Now it's see, it says num number indexes after two, all indexes already exist because I already have it here, okay? So I will have to delete it. Uh, for that, let me open my testing DB. So this is the Compass app, which is also used for maintaining. So, so you can go to indexes and you see your, so here I'm saying type the index name, lead name underscore one to drop. So now I've dropped the index, right? So we can also create it from here select a name, which one you want to index, uh, select tech interval, how you want. We can do it from here in user interface or we can use it via command and say db dot collection name, which is in this case, it's leads dot ensure index, then followed by the key name, followed by one, right? So let's enter. Now it says index OK one, right? So now let's refresh. And we should see the index added again. So you see here, right? So that is how we can create index on any column we want, whichever. See, and now the question comes, which column should we index, right? So any column that you feel is accessed more number of times 
or used more number of times in your query uh, it is important data that is scattered across different screens it's important then I would encourage you to go ahead create an index on that particular column right so that way it's optimized else it will be pretty slow as data increases your system will start seeing issues all right that being said in the next episode we will learn about backup and restoring of data in MongoDB do like my do like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you so much see you in the next episode where we learn backup and restore